American police procedural television series NCIS is well on its way to become the longest running television series in primetime history. The show has seen several characters come and go in its 20 year long tenure, one of which includes Jennifer Esposito's character, Special Agent Alexandra Alex Quinn. Esposito's exit from the show sparked several rumors, and CBS tried to put the rumors to rest with the press release, which, ironically, sparked more rumors. Why was Special Agent Quinn written off NCIS? Let's dive in. Starting with, who is Special Agent Alexandra Quinn? Fans were first introduced to Special Agent Alexandra Quinn in the premiere episode of season 14, Rogue. Quinn enters the bullpen and sarcastically congratulates Special Agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs for managing to find a way to reject eight potential candidates for a position in the major case response team. Quinn has previously worked as a field agent before leaving that life behind to become an instructor at the Law Enforcement Training Center. Alexandra is sharp-witted, quick-minded, and serves as the perfect female counterpart to Mark Hammond's often cold-hearted character, Gibbs. In fact, when Esposito was cast for the role, executive producer Gary Glassberg couldn't be more thrilled. Glassberg spoke highly of the actress and was excited to introduce a new character into the show. A few fans believed that Glassberg had modeled Special Agent Quinn after Jennifer Esposito. Quinn is initially reluctant to join the team. She left the field several years ago after her partner was killed while the duo was chasing suspects. Her personal life also took a few blows, and she decided it was best to focus her energy elsewhere. Gibb has to actively pursue Quinn to convince her to join the force, and he eventually succeeds. Esposito's character has somewhat of an eidetic memory. She prides herself for remembering every agent she's ever trained, including Torres, McGee, and Bishop. It goes without saying, Special Agent Alexandra Quinn became a fan favorite in no time. Let's talk about how long did Jennifer Esposito reprise her role. Here's an interesting fact. Jennifer Esposito started her television career with a guest appearance on the current contender for longest-running scripted primetime television series, Law and & Order, in 1996. In 2016, the actress, who by then had several notable roles under her belt, was cast as Special Agent Alex Quinn for the 14th season of NCIS. Glassberg went on to say that he couldn't be happier to have her become a part of the team. However, Agent Quinn became the only character in the show's history to have been a part of the the main team for one season. In 2017, Deadline reported that the actress would be taking an indefinite leave of absence and would not be returning for season 15. Agent Quinn was consequently written off the show. It was revealed in season 15 that Quinn left to take care of her ailing mother who had developed Alzheimer's. Somewhat of an anticlimactic ending for one of the show's most beloved characters. Now on to what did CBS say in their press release. After it was announced that Esposito would not be returning to NCIS for the show's 15th season. CBS released a statement claiming that the decision to write her off was an executive decision. In other words, the showrunners just thought it'd be better to move forward without her character. However, the show's producers were more than thrilled to have her on board back in 2016. They called her a fantastic actress and claimed that she was meant for the role, notwithstanding the fact that she absolutely crushed it as Agent Quinn. CBS claimed it was in the show's best interest to move forward without Quinn, but some fans believe that Esposito's departure from the network had something to do with her health, an infamous incident from back in 2012. What was the incident? Let's find out. Moving on, what happened in 2012? 2017 wasn't the first time Esposito's character was written off a show. It also wasn't the first time her character had been cut from a police procedural show either. Back in 2012, Jennifer Esposito starred opposite Donnie Wahlberg in the CBS drama Blue Blood as Detective Jackie Curatola. Her character was part of the show's original cast from its premiere season back in 2010. Detective Jackie Curatola was well received by audiences, and fans loved her on-screen chemistry with Wahlberg's detective Danny Reagan. In the third season, however, Esposito collapsed on set following complications from celiac disease. The actress had been diagnosed a few months prior, and doctors noted that her condition was a lot more serious than others. In fact, her physician recommended the actress cut down on her workload, or the fainting spells and fatigue would continue. Esposito had a doctor's note in everything, but in 2012, CBS announced they would be moving forward without her. Blue Blood is currently entering its 13th season. After Esposito's character was written off unexpectedly in 2017, a few fans speculated it might have had something to do with her condition, or that the feigning spells had started again. Did they? Okay, so why did Jennifer Esposito really leave NCIS after one season? We can speculate all we want, but Esposito's the only one who knows what really happened. Here's what the actress had to say. Fans began to theorize that the actress's sudden 
sudden departure from NCIS might have had something to do with her ailing health. However, Esposito took to Twitter to clear all doubts. She was not ill and appreciated the concern. And while her time at CBS was cut short, she was happy to have had the opportunity to work with the amazing cast and crew of NCIS. There was a lot of ambiguity over Esposito's departure from the show. Did she quit? Was she fired? Was her character not well received? We know that the last one's not true, but we're stuck between the first two. In 2019, however, the actress spoke candidly about her time in Hollywood. Interestingly enough, in spite of being a successful successful name in Hollywood, Esposito said that she had nothing but regrets from her time as an actress. She stated that the industry cared a lot more about how you looked rather than what you brought to the table. In the same interview, Esposito claimed that she decided it was best to take an extended hiatus to reevaluate her career decisions. But we're happy to report that the talented actress continues to take on a role or two every now and then. Finally, what's the actress up to now? While promoting her upcoming directorial and screenwriting debut, Fresh Kills, Esposito spoke at a panel to discuss her upcoming production, as well as her shift from acting to directing. The actress told audience members that she had initially planned on going to NYU Film School to pursue a degree in screenwriting. However, she couldn't afford tuition and instead decided to channel her creative energy through acting. Esposito picked up an acting class or two, and by 1996, she had made her acting debut on Law & Order. Jennifer went on to say that she came up with the plot for Fresh Kills back when she was 17 and tried to pitch the idea to directors several times during her career. However, she would also be sent away and told to write the script first. Since Esposito had her schedule packed with acting gigs, she never really sat down to draft a script. But a few health scares and uncomfortable Hollywood experiences later, the actress finally sat down and wrote her first ever script. Fresh Kills tells the story of the women in organized crime. It follows their way up the metaphorical mobster ladder as they become the matriarchs of their units. Jennifer Esposito will also be starring in the film as the lead character. Alongside her will be fellow Blue Bloods actress Annabella Shora, Emily Bader, and Odessa Azian. Moving on to other news, starting with, will there be a surprise SEAL team crossover this season? NCIS isn't just the third longest primetime television series in history, it's also the show that kickstarted several other television series, NCIS Los Angeles, NCIS Hawaii, and NCIS New Orleans. Orleans. And with the show entering its 20th season, we thought for sure we'd see a crossover with at least one other police procedural show. Well, looks like we might just, but it's not a show you would have expected. In fact, it looks like there'll be a crossover between NCIS Los Angeles and SEAL Team. CBS teased fans with the idea after posting an Instagram post with the picture of LL Cool J's Sam Hanna and David Boreanaz's Jason Hayes. The picture was captioned, okay, but how dynamic would these duos be? We could agree more. Wrapping things up, could Mark Harmon's departure be the end of an era? Mark Harmon has been with us for 20 years as lead detective Gibbs on NCIS. Harmon's character is one of the show's most pivotal characters yet. In fact, he's the only actor to have reprised his role for 20 long years. All other actors have come and gone, but Harmon has stayed. Well, until season 19, that is. Harmon announced his plans to quit the show after season 18 finished filming. However, his character made it into four episodes of season 19 before the script had him move to the 49th state, Alaska. Gibbs hasn't retired. He's still in the middle of nowhere doing what he does best. But for Mark Harmon, this is the end of the road. The actor revealed that he wanted to pursue other acting roles, and he felt that he had more to offer than Detective Gibbs. Is this the end of an era? We think it just might be. That's a wrap for this video. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.